one, two, one, two, three, four. Hey guys, it's Danielle, so today I decided I would do my January favorites for you guys. I actually have a fair few of favorites simply because of Christmas passing. I have a lot of new things that I was testing out and trying and that I've really come to love. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first thing, I'm going to start off with a clothing item because I am going for a very specific style for 2017. I am trying to stick with blacks and whites and monochromatic colors. I'm trying to have that like 90s, 2000s kind of vibe so in doing so I got this from garage I got this for Christmas actually and I am so obsessed with this I love it I think it makes every outfit that I'm wearing just automatically look cool like it looks like a statement piece to me um, it's this kind of satiny can you see it in the camera this satiny kind of shiny color and it's black and white. I'm obsessed with this. It is so comfy. It isn't too heavy, but it isn't too light. So I can kind of wear it whenever I want to. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I've been wearing this a lot. Going with this kind of 90s, 2000s look, I have been experimenting with different jewelry. Something that I think actually looks really nice and I've come to love and want to wear a lot more now are hoops. I had an outfit the other day where I literally, I was wearing my tall boots, I had that jacket on and I had hoops on, and I have never felt so happy with a look in my life. So yeah, I'm going to be wearing these a lot more. These ones are just simple, just silver hoops, doesn't really matter. I don't know what brand they are, I've had them for forever. And speaking of earrings actually, the ones I'm wearing right now I really like, the little starfish, I don't know if you can see them. But uh, my friend got them for me for my birthday, or belated birthday at least, and I really, really like them. I think they look so nice. I really like them. I think they're so... Ah, and I'll get you back in focus. I think they're so pretty, so nice, and they're really sparkly, so they bring a lot of light to my face, which I really, really like. In regards to jewelry, something that I got for Christmas, which I really, really like, um, my dad got it for me. It's an Alex and Annie. Yes, Alex and Annie bracelet. I have a couple of these uh, for different occasions. I've gotten them as gifts and whatnot. Um, this one, which I usually buy silver. However, um, my dad ended up getting gold because he thought it looked a lot better with my birthstone, which I totally agree. And I don't, like, I'm a fan of mixing metals. I think it's fine. So it looks like that. And I love it. It is so beautiful. And it's super... Egyptian-y, which I really like. I feel like the colors scream like Cleopatra to me, which I really, really like, so I've been obsessed with that. So this I got for Christmas. It's huge, bigger than my head, and it's just a water bottle. It's one of those fancy double insulated ones or whatever. I've really been liking this. I didn't think I was going to like the metal, because typically I'm not a metal water bottle kind of person. I know it's great to reduce, reuse, recycle, whatever. Um, having a reusable, reusable water bottles is awesome. I typically go for plastic reusable bottles simply because I'm not a huge fan of the metal. Usually I feel like it gets into my water. This one I haven't had an issue, which is awesome, and it's massive. So I'll drink like three or four of these within like, honestly, within a couple class periods. Like, so what, five hours or something? I like, like drink three or four of these. So I'm actually getting you know, more water in my system, which is awesome, and I definitely need that. I've been super dehydrated recently. So yeah, I've been loving that. Something I've also been loving, not only the month of January, but also all throughout December, um, are fake nails, which is so, like, girly and white girl, whatever, I don't care. These ones I've been getting are the Nailene Designer Collection Essentials. Um, there's 36 uh, nails in here. I get the long ones because with the long ones I find I can cut them down to the size that I want and I'm a person that prefers rounded off nails so I've been using these and then rounding them off because they're so long I can and it doesn't look weird, they don't look too short, no no no. Um, I don't have them on right now actually, funny enough. I just, just took my nails off. I had black rounded tip ones and I really, really liked them. I personally just love long nails. I think they look so nice. So I've been kind of DIYing, doing it myself instead of paying like 30 bucks to get real ones done. So I have like three packages of nails right now. So <laughs> I have been obsessed with them, clearly. Another thing I've been obsessed with, so obsessed with, 
is this. I asked for it for Christmas and I got it and I am so happy. This is the Tory Burch Absolute Perfume. It looks like that and it smells so good. I literally almost spray it now. Mm, I love the smell of this perfume so much. It's very much adult um, in a way. It's similar, not super similar to Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I have that one and I am so in love with that one still. To this day I've had it for three or four years now and I love it. Um, but this one I feel like is even that much more mature. Um, isn't super florally which I kind of, which is partly why I like it so much. Um, and it's just a warm, nice smell. I love it. I highly recommend it if you haven't smelt it before. Oh, honestly, this is one that I'm seriously probably going to be wearing for maybe the rest of my life. Like, it's one of those. It's one of those ones I can see myself wearing it now. I can see myself wearing it when I'm like 40. I love it. It smells so nice. And too, what I find with this perfume in particular is that I only need like one maybe two sprays of it and then I'm good. Um, whereas I find other perfumes like I'll spray three or four times and then you go through it that much faster which is so annoying. Um, so this one in particular like lasts a super long time. All of my clothes still smell so nice from it. Like I tend to re-wear my clothes. I don't wash them immediately because I find like clothes start to deteriorate once you do that. So I'll wear them maybe twice possibly three times but they still smell good oh my gosh it's awesome i highly recommend it i decided to buy a new foundation this is the fit me matte and poreless foundation for normal to oily skin thus far i love it i've been using it for maybe uh most of january no yeah all of january now that i think about it i bought it at the beginning of january i really really like this it mat like my skin tone it matches perfectly which i was so shocked i was in the store and i was kind of like classic ivory 120 looks like my color however typically in the bottle it comes out totally different um but i figured you know what if it's too dark oh well i can put on a lighter concealer whatever to kind of make it work it actually ends up being the perfect match. I love it. It's like a medium coverage, uh, but you can definitely, definitely build it up. And I really, really like it. It doesn't make me oily, which is incredible. Whenever it starts to come off, it doesn't get weird and like, oh, there's some foundation still here. Oh, there's nothing there. And it's very obvious. No, it doesn't do that. It's, if it's going to come off, you don't even know it's, you know what I mean? Like you don't see the lines or anything like that. I've had no issues with it thus far and I really really like it. Another thing that I've been loving is another makeup product. This is the L'Oreal Paris... what do they call them? Does it say? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't say what it is. It looks like that and it is a liquid lipstick. This one dries down really quickly which I really really like and then it has the balm on the other end. This is one of those lipsticks that honestly, like, I washed my face and went to bed and woke up in the morning and it was still on. Like, they last a really long time, which I really love. I'm wearing it today and I think the color is so nice. It's one of those browns that honestly, it makes your teeth look whiter and it doesn't make you look super gaunt. Like, it's really nice. I really, really like it. And this one's in 119. Uh, never ending nutmeg and I really really like this it's cool toned yet it gives warmth to your face and I just oh I'm so obsessed with this it is so nice and natural Last thing in regards to makeup is this long comb hypnos 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 I think hypnos um, mascara this one's a waterproof one it's not my favorite one but the original is my favorite. That's why I included this. I do like this a lot. It does last a super long time. I do find, however, the problem with it is the brush is just normal like this. So, whereas the actual Hypnos um, regular mascara has a wand that's kind of curved, and that I found is 
phenomenal and it really lifts the lashes looks super super nice that it, that's what I'd been using originally and then I bought the waterproof one because I thought okay I want waterproof like that's my thing personally I like when things last a super super long time I like to be able to literally if I slept somewhere or something wake up in the morning my lashes still look good that's why I like waterproof um, and this does do that it lasts really really long time I really really like it there's not a lot of flaking that happens nothing like that it's really really nice um, however I do find I need to use a, another wand from another mascara just to kind of separate my lashes a little more because it does get really clumpy which can be an issue at least for myself um, but I do recommend it still even with those flaws because it is a great mascara and it does last a super long time um, but I recommend the original most so. Okay, and then kind of following with my makeup routine, I have this mirror that I've had for, oh, hey guys. <laughs> um, I have this mirror which I've had for a super long time and I recently have been using it all the time. It is so much easier to do my makeup like this in a handheld mirror that I can like move around if I need um, than it is to just sit in front of a mirror that's stationary. Uh, so I've been really liking this. So handheld mirror, that's one of my favorites this month. Uh, this is something I literally, I've had since my great grandfather passed away. He left it to me or gave it to me um, before he actually passed. It was like six years now. Because I was using this in grade 9. I have Polaroids from grade 9 and they're so funny. I love looking back at them. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to get back into using my Polaroid camera because I have a lot of film now and I want to actually use it. Um, so what I've been doing is just taking my normal photos and then making them into Polaroid like shapes and printing them out. Um, but I want to start using this again, which I have actually this past month and that's why it's in my favorites. I really, really like it. And if you don't have one, I recommend it. I know it's kind of a bulky piece, but it's fun. And it, honestly, it does. It does create memories that you didn't have before. Because having a picture on your phone is fine, but having like a tangible photo is really fun. Okay guys, that's it for my favorites this month. I really hope you liked it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below what your favorites were this month. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Whoa! Oh, was I out of focus this whole time? Oh no. I feel like I'm kind of... Oh, I really hope I wasn't out of focus. I feel like I'm slightly out of focus, but it isn't like a huge deal. If you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below what... <laughs> and that's that. Bye, guys! <laughs>